right guys, just caught this puffer fish off the beach um, using a fish finder rig. And this is my first ever. I think that this is a pretty big one too. So yeah, we're gonna do a little catch, clean and cook with them. All right guys, back here at the filet table now. We got our three puffer fish and you're gonna need a pair of pliers and a sharp knife. So what I've already done here on this one is I cut down behind his like head here and I cut down all the way until you start to feel a spine. From there, you're gonna lift up his skin, get a hold of that with the pliers, and peel that back like this. Oof, we need some strength to do this. From there, you can just start from down here and cut like down here through it. Look at like that. And just get that meat out. Just like this. And start cutting the meat away. From the skin. Grab your meat and just kind of work that like drumstick off. This. Just like that, you have your puffer fish filet. Um, they're known to be called the um, chicken of the sea because when you filet them, it looks like a little drumstick. Um, yeah, so that's how you clean them and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, we're here in the kitchen now. We got our filets here. Um, a egg and milk mix here and some Abbott seafood breader. We're going to take our filet and put it in our egg and milk mix. Just like this. Be sure to get the whole thing wet. After that, put it in your seafood breader. Mix it around like this. Make sure you get the whole thing coated. Like that. Put it in the basket. Do the same thing with the other. Put it in the milk and egg mix first. After that, put it into the breader. When you coat it, you can pat down on the breader so it gets into the meat like this. And the full thing. Shake it off a little bit. Put it into the basket and down into the oil. Alright guys, so when you're frying fish, it's important to get it to the perfect temperature. And you're just going to stick your thermometer into the meat and see what temperature it is. Right now it's about 120. When you're cooking fish, it needs to be about 150. So we'll just have it in the fryer a little bit longer. And I'm gonna check it one more time. See what it's at now. Um, make sure you get right in the middle of the meat. It's about 150 on this one. Check the other. It's about at 120. So we'll go over here. 
grab our tongs, take this one, put it on the plate, and I bet this one is a little bit hotter because it's a smaller piece and it gets hotter faster. All right guys, so we're going to check the play one more time. It's at about 170 now, so leave it there, grab our tongs, grab it, Oops. put it on the plate. Go. All right, guys, we're here at the dinner table now. We got our drumsticks, our puffer fish drumsticks, and I'm going to give them a try. All right, guys, so now we're going to try the puffer fish. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on it, not too much, and get a fork and try a little bit. Take a little bit off. Not that much. It's actually really good. It tastes just like chicken. It'd probably be better if I, you know, cooked it maybe a little bit more and made it a little bit more crunchy. But overall, it's great tasting. It tastes just like chicken. Uh, definitely the chicken of the sea. And that is my puffer fish catch cleaning cook. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, and if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.